Big Savage in the building. The grind don't stop unless it kill me. You already know. Welcome to the Savage Nation. Make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. Turn on notification bells. Today, I will be reacting to a channel member. If you want to get your video in this reaction series, you got some fire. You know it need a little more exposure. Go and hit that link in the description. Become a channel member and hit me up. Without further ado, Savage Nation, let's get it in! I hate my shit. I spent the light 10, I got the pipe in, gonna spend a block, no type in. I just want the face like we Skype in, can't come no hoe, they be trifling. Y'all already know, right back at it. Today, we got my girl One Busy Mama in the building, holding it down. She got an Olive Guard resin peak. So, let's see, let's see. I might can cook this myself, huh? So you're gonna make stripes. Today's video, we're gonna be doing a famous Olive Garden Super Toscana soup using potatoes. Let's get it. Um, so let's finish the stripes and get into this recipe. Striping them potatoes. Make sure you get all the bad parts of the potato off. I have, five, I have five potatoes here, but customize it however you want. So we're gonna a little hiccup the right there, double yeah. footage, a little overlap. Right. Not too bad though, not too bad. I wonder what happened. I'm gonna make sure you get all the excess dirt. Hmm, Italian sausage. Rinse with hot water. I'm about to wash these ass for her. I'll be back with y'all one sec. I'll be back ass done. So you're going to need some Italian hot sausage. Hot sausage, okay. Once, or you can get it. That hot sausage. <laughs> and we're going to use some sauce. I love spicy food though, so this is my alley. Flakes, if you like it really spicy, we will need. Oh, she got the red cream pepper cream flakes too. The cream base part of the soup. And this is garlic powder. Also, I like to use a broth base. This is the vegan uh, broth base, but they do have chicken or beef. Um, Orrington. I probably rock with the chicken. Very, very good. And you got some measurements here to make the broth. And some good old ground black pepper. All right, so let's get our sausage going. We're gonna get a big pot, a stock pot is the best. So if you have a larger stock pot, fill it up with as much water as you think you'll feed people. We have a skillet, we're gonna put this on low, medium, and crack open our sausage links. Okay. If you have the ground sausage, then you can skip this part. But if you have your sausage, oh, ground sausage. Okay, so for the lazy folks, just buy the ground sausage is already done. This peeling here, this casing. Throw it in your pan. We're also gonna get a small, medium onion of your choice, yellow or white. I take that sweet onion. I don't know about that sweet onion. Gotta prepare that meat. I don't know though, let me know. Cooking with Savage, should, should I make my own meal? Can <laughs> I show y'all some shit? Let me stop playing. Fuck, I'm gonna show y'all how to make some cereal. <laughs> First, you want to get the bowl. Definitely know how to cut them onions. I know that trick.
nice and easy. Throw that up in there. We're gonna chop our potatoes into cubes or slices. And that's gonna go into the boiling water. Cubes or slices. We gotta get mama a bigger tray. Need you to have some room on that cutting board. You don't wanna hurt yourself. She made it work though, she made it work. That molded part, yeah, cut it right out. I won't be eating no moldy potato. Right in the water. Okay, okay. I'm getting hungry and I just ate. I just about filled it up too. Okay, you can hear the sausage. Uh, I was just about to say, does she got the meat on it? Grind it up with our Probably on low. Those onions can simmer. And we are going to season our sausage even more, even though it's Yeah, that gotta be on low. I would have burnt it by then. <laughs> it was just sitting there chilling. But uh, one package should be good enough. If you like your uh, soup more meaty, add less potato. So we're going to get this black pepper. I don't know about if I like it more meaty. I think right in the middle, Cole. We're going to do the garlic powder. Mm, one tablespoon. Or half a palmful. We're going to add some salt to our potatoes. You can add as much or a little as you need to boil it. This red pepper flakes, I would say. You don't need that much salt now. Teaspoons. It's a few shakes, like she said. You can always add to your soup later. And that's it. We're going to let this simmer and cook through. Looking good already. It's getting there. It's getting there. <laughs> I'm an impatient uh, eater, so that's why my dilemma with cooking always comes up because I don't want to eat it. I'd rather it just be ready. I don't want to wait, look at it, stare at it, smell it, none of that. Just bring it to me so I can throw it Sausage. Down. Sizzling. Oh, snap. <laughs> TikTok dude just scared me.
good, them juicy. Okay, you can see the potatoes are nice and boiled. Way to test if your potatoes are done. Bring it on the side and break them apart. Okay, so if it gets soft, then you know that they ain't ready. Just like that. Let's turn that down. All right, so I have my bag of kale greens. You can get the bunch of kale. You can That's what I was looking at. I was wondering what she put in doing with the kale. Whatever you like. Um, and they just look like that. Kale bunches. And we are going to add about half the pack. To the soup. Okay, I never had no soup with greens in it. the potatoes at this point. Already chopped up. You ain't gotta wash them, one busy mama. I was just supposed to wash grains right out the pack. So let H2 own that thing. You never know; they might be dirty. Okay. <laughs> I don't trust yeah, these companies. Cream, be sure to shake this. Check your expiration date. Um, we're gonna add about a half a cup. Whipping Maybe cream. Quarters of the cup, depending on your stock pot. Whip, whip me, baby. Ow. <laughs> and I judge. Oh, she barely puts on in there. Like really that's a, like that's a, creamy or a little, little bit. Not. Let's get the kale in there, and your soup is basically done. You can add more salt, um, as you see. That's fit. it. I'm gonna add my my broth base. Nice crumbles in there. About, the cap says two teaspoons. I usually add two tablespoons. Because I like some taste. You can also add pre-done broth. It looked like a lot of water. I wonder, like uh, is, did the taste broth, change you yet? You can add chicken broth, you can add veggie broth, beef broth broth um but we add chicken that's the one i was talking about when i was saying the chicken broth meal um you can add the plant-based um sausage because it's not going to be vegan but this is the impossible sausage. oh plant-based huh? i know she eat plant-based season that to taste but you'd add about half of this uh of chicken broth to give it that flavor All right, and you can see our sausage is done. So nice crumbles here. I'm using a slotted spoon. Find it at the Dollar Tree um, to drip out the excess oil and just throw it in there. Don't forget your onions. I need them onions. All them flavors to help that uh that soup be tasting right. Some of the oil from the sausage is going to have that spice. Um, I'm still skeptical about the kale, though. I never had soup with greens in it. It just, it just looked greasy. different. I'm going to have to go back to Olive Garden. Got some onions there. So we added our chicken broth. We added our whipping cream. I'm going to add maybe another tablespoon of salt. Because there's a lot of water in there. Okay, all oh, right. And then you just give it a good. So it's a lot of water, but she's doing every. She letting you know everything you need to do. You feel me? Get that flavor right. Because I was thinking the same thing. And I will plate it for you so you can see how it looks. But this is very very hearty. I would recommend. It definitely look healthy. Bowl here. This is very nice. Uh, I got this from Target. In case you're curious. Plate bowl, I like them. I actually know how to make them. Pretty cool. And look how pretty those greens look in there. That is a very nice. Soup and it definitely look food. like a uh, restaurant style type of meal. Now that she put it in that. Uh, you can sprinkle some crumbled parmesan on top. <laughs> I was just gonna say sprinkle some green stuff or something. Like little, um, Fancy, voila. Salty, black peppery taste to it. But this is the soup, Zupa Toscana Olive Garden Special. Okay, pretty dope, pretty dope. I'm going to have to try one day. Great video.
One Busy Mama switching it up with the cooking recipe. I'm loving this new addition. One uh problem, the little skip in the beginning. I don't know what that was. Maybe something happened with the recording process, but that's minor. That's minor. She still got a point across, showed us everything we needed. So shout out to One Busy Mama. Shout out to the Savage Nation. Y'all already know. I'll catch y'all on the next one. Appreciate everybody coming through. Peace. I hate my shit. I spent the light 10. I got the pipe in. Gonna spend a block, no type in. I just want the face like we Skype in. Can't come no hoe, they be trifling.